The only problem with reading and writing data to a flat file is security. If you want to write a table to a text file and keep it secure, you're going to have to encrypt that data. So if you go to www.autoplay.org, you'll notice that in the left nav column here, there's something called crypto encryption. And if you check it out, there's a download link and there's a screen cap to a sample app. And this is basically an encryption plugin from Indigo Rose that you can use to um, add encryption functions to your Autoplay Media Studio projects. It's really powerful, handles several types of encryption, and it's a great thing to check out. So go to www.autoplay.org and download the crypto encryption plugin and check it out. We're going to take a look right now at how we can make this work for us in this scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and create a table. I'm just going to insert some values. And we're going to assume that these are values which we wish to keep secret. They look pretty innocuous here, but trust me, we're trying to keep these secret. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and write these to a file. So we'll use our action wizard. We'll go text file, write from table, and we're going to type into the file name area, autoplay, so that's our autoplay folder, slash slash doc slash slash, and we'll call it mytable.txt. And in the next area here, the table area, we're going to go ahead and type in the name of our table, which is my table. We'll leave the append area set to false because we want to create this file, not just write it to the end of an existing file. And we'll press finish. Now we'll press F5 to run this project. And when we go back to our project, you'll notice that this text file is created here in our folder. So let's go ahead and see how we can encrypt this data. Actually, first, let's take a look and make sure that this data is not encrypted. So we'll go ahead and set up an action real quick. Text file, read to table. We'll read that file back into a table and display one of the elements. So it's now in a table called result. We'll set up a dialog message box. I'll leave the title blank and we'll just display one of the elements of that result table. The second element in this case. Orange. As you can see, the information is not secret. The information is readily viewable to anybody who can open up a text file. Now let's solve this problem here. We're going to go ahead and go to our project plugins area and make sure we've got crypto checked. Now you've got to have the crypto encryption plugin installed to do this so you'll want to go to www.autoplay.org download it. It's a free download uh, for the demo plugin and you can just go ahead and insert it. So we've got that checked and now we can access the crypto actions. So we'll go to add action and you'll notice all of a sudden here there's this new family of actions that shows up after you've installed the plugin, the crypto actions. So let's go ahead and use the blowfish encrypt action. I'm going to double click on that. For our source file we're going to point it at, into our project folder, in our docs folder, at the mytable.txt file. And I'm going to actually um, go ahead and press finish and we'll cut and paste to make the adjustments that I need here in our script editor. Actually I'm going to open up my script editor. There we go. For our destination file I'm going to actually just cut and paste our same folder data here and all I have to do is change the end part here from text to ENC for an encrypted file. Okay, So we're going to create it in the same folder, autoplay docs, and we're going to call it mytable.enc. And for our password we're just going to go ahead and use the, the word fruit. Actually, let's go ahead and use fruit salad so it's a little bit longer. Now normally you'll want to work out a better password than that, but we're just using that for our demo here. Now when we run this uh, project, we'll press F5 to run it. It will have created a new file in our project folder. And we go ahead and look in there in our docs folder and you'll notice that there's now a file called mytable.enc and this is encrypted data. Nobody can read this data, certainly not in the same way that we were just reading our data. So for example now if we tried again to load that file into a table, watch what happens. Oops. We're going to go ahead here to our text file, read to table, and we're going to point it this time at the new file, the encrypted file, we're going to go ahead and try and display a value out of that, just for the purposes of demonstration.
we'll go ahead and try and display the same value that we just displayed from our unencrypted table. I'll press F5 to preview. As you can see here, now we get an error. Okay, so that data is indeed not readable anymore. Now, when we need to read this data back, now for example, if you were going to encrypt this, you would want to then, of course, delete that flat text file and get rid of it completely. But in this particular case, now if we wanted to read the data back from that encrypted file, we would go ahead to add action, go back to the crypto family, and we would decrypt that information. So we would use crypto, blowfish, decrypt. We're going to point for our source file into our docs folder at the encrypted file. And for our destination file, of course, we're going to here, I'll just type it in here. We're going to have autoplay slash docs. Actually, I'm going to create a second file this time. And I'm going to call this new file dot text. So indeed, you can, you can tell that it wasn't just the old file. And we're going to have to have the right key here. In our case, we used fruit salad. Let me get rid of that. There we go. And we'll press finish. We'll go ahead and run that by pressing F5. And it's going to go ahead and decrypt that data and create a new file for us that contains the data now that we can use. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, read that back into our project. So we're going to add action, text file, read to table, and this time we're going to point it at our new file. This is the unencrypted file. This is the file that came from the encrypted file and we just decrypted using our crypto action. So we're going to double click on that. It's going to read it into a result variable. We're just going to go ahead and set up a dialog message box to prove that this works. I'll leave the title blank and again we're going to access the second element as we did in the first place. I'll press F5 to preview and as you can see like magic we've got the word orange again. Okay so this is how you can store data in an encrypted format and basically uh, you, you would look, want to look at the different types of encryption that are available with that plugin but Blowfish for example is, is a fairly secure way nobody's probably going to crack your, your data and if you're storing you know relatively non-crucial data just uh, personal data or preferences files and things like that you can you can be feeling pretty safe that the Blowfish encryption is a good enough solution uh, for handling that type of data. So anyway, that's how you can encrypt your tables uh, when you're storing them in files. And I hope you guys have found that handy. Let's go on to the next tutorial.